Yes, it's right. Thank you, Alex. And you guys have been pouring your heart out, sort of like these guys right here with their little friend. They actually just acquired this guy. Congratulations, first and foremost. Quite the showing of dominance. I, yes. I think it's easily Thank put. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so, I mean, how many times, uh, I, I mean, I just have to ask right away. You guys have been winning and winning and winning, and you keep winning. What is it that drives you guys? Yeah, so what drives us the most is that we keep winning, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, we just want to win all the time, and I think Sonic is uh, doing a really good job of keeping us motivated all the time. Okay. Even though it can get a bit easy to just, like, try to relax, not do your homework before the games, because you just think that now you have won so much that you are, like, really satisfied. But Sonic is doing a really good job of not let us, letting us rest and uh, just keep pushing us. Yeah, because, I mean, maybe you can speak to this some too, Device. I mean, you guys have been around for a while. You've seen the guys at the top, and... Maybe there's some sort of lackadaisical thing that happens or they get sort of, I don't know, complacent or they get sort of in a, in a rhythm that doesn't keep them at the top. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, we've been at the, the top before with Kava and we also did it back in TSM with, with like Kerrigan and Cajun. It's, it's very different this time. It's more like, um, like Clay was saying, uh, Sonic is pushing us. Like we want to win every tournament we participate in and then we'll rather skip some tournaments instead of like burning ourselves out. Um, and I think like the main reason that we are doing so well is also that we get some important losses here and there. Mm -hmm. We lost to I by power uh, or to Liquid at I by power. Mm -hmm. um, the loss to North at Stockholm, like those losses actually make us really mad and then we, yeah. we we can push ourselves even more. Yeah, and coming into the major, I mean, you guys did suffer a loss to Liquid. Everybody said, okay, well, this is going to be the one. This is the time where Liquid come out here and we have this amazing grand final. The scripting was wrong. Somebody <laughs> wrote the book wrong. <laughs> Something here. Uh, right away, though, I mean, I guess we could just take a, a brief look back at the brackets. You guys did drop a map to the Renegades early on, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I, I've noticed that Mirage was banned today. And also, I mean, did that have any impact there? Is that... Any sort of we were a bit confused if they were actually going to pick Mirage, okay. but they decided to pick. Uh, they decided to pick the Train. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember right now. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, of course Mirage is not like the best map for us, but I still think it's pretty good. Uh, we are like really good on six maps right now, and still working on that catch as well. Yeah, I mean that is your perma ban. You you want to try that one? Yeah, soon, honestly, like as you say, we lost one map this tournament. It was the Renegades. We were leading 12-3. Um, I don't want to put too much into that game, honestly. They played right. really well and, and caught us off guard with the Orc meter and so on. Um, all in all, we had a pretty clean tournament, I would say. Yeah. Uh, and and like looking at the video today, everyone was saying, um, Enes won the video, but when you're the favorite, you have to play into your own strengths. Um, we're kind of expecting either Mirage or Train and then got the Inferno pick in. Okay. Um, and, and yeah, we prepared really well for that. Uh, and like you played into our... Even though strengths. I think like... When we usually, when we go to tournaments and we look at the opponents, I think they play better than they do right now. I'm not sure if it's because we just had a player break or mm. okay. people didn't play a lot or what it is, but I just feel like that the teams, they usually play better when I look at them and when I start to watch video with the team and, and, and so on. So uh, hopefully in the future, I think that, that, that people will like step up the game. Yeah, you want, you want your <laughs> opponents to step up the game. I mean, we do have the vetoes kind of thrown up there yeah, on the screen. We could kind yeah. of reminisce on what had actually happened there. Uh, and I kind of want to go back just a second. And you said something very interesting there about being the favorites. And I guess for some reason online, people seem to have thought that, you know, really and truly, Inter about to push you guys to the test there. I can see the smile on your face device. And there's yeah. something telling about that smile. Uh, like, we saw all of the, the polls and so on. I think, honestly, the only re one we really have to look at is the pigems because that's where people are really <laughs> yeah. try-harding, right? And um, I think we saved a lot of diamond pigems this, this tournament by being the favorites, going through and winning every single game we have to. And and that's impressive. And that's uh, I'm really proud of the team. And as Glaive says, this tournament has been kind of weird for us because we always like study our opponents. And honestly, sometimes... Um, at this time, it could be that people have been here for so long that they have shown everything uh, or that they didn't have time to like prepare well enough for the tournament because like in the latter part of last year, people were playing um, a lot better. It could also be like the roster changes okay. that were happening and so on. It could also be us just playing better right now. I'm not sure, too sure about it. It just feels like that even though I'm not hitting my shots, we still win the rounds pretty convincingly and that just tells me that, that the opponents is not playing like 
too well right now. Uh, but I think still my teammates is doing a really good job right now, like hitting some amazing shots. Well, you guys are hitting amazing shots throughout the entire time I've seen you as Astralis, right? And that definitely <laughs> did not stop today. We're actually going to recap some of the rounds. If, if you guys are cool with that, I mean, yeah, of sure. Thing. All right, we're going to load up, uh, excuse me, we're going to load up round 11 here on train. This is where things start to get a little bit interesting. And I kind of want you guys to walk me through here. Don't be afraid to say, you know, pause or kind of stop at any moment. Yeah, they have a force buy. We actually know we know that. Oh, and is that where he goes down to pop? Yeah. I think he goes down. Oh my it's god, the, he yeah, just Anthony instant go. headshots me. Yeah. I was so mad after that. I was just like, how did he manage to get, be there so fast? Um, it's true. I was actually playing B this round, I think, and I got like heaven information, and we knew they were going A, and yeah, we just like sometimes when you play against pistols, they do like these kind of random. Uh, pushes and yeah. headshots and so on and Sib did a really good round and we, we saw that on the video that they, they put down the the, the show the, the smoke in shucks lane that that's what we call it that's like in between the trains okay and then they push out and wait for it to fade and then they kill the guy in in alley uh, and that's what exactly what they did there and they caught a first card um yeah so oh, yeah that's, we end up in a one-on-one -on -one and i Oh yeah, you, you yeah. don't make it, right? I, I don't, I don't get the bump. Yeah, but I didn't think he was that low. Everyone said he was low, and I was like, oh, he's real low. He's I'm, actually, I'm spraying he's like actually like pretty low. bullets on him, and I'm like, why is he not dying if he's low? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, this um, was a great round by them actually. It was one of the only rounds they won. They won the first two, uh, then they won one weapon round where they actually like completely aced us, and this was the last round they won on their on their T side. So I think we played a really solid CT side. Yeah, and. That was the general consensus when we were in like halftime. It's basically just a standard two on two right now. Yeah. Uh, Dupree is gonna, when I get the kill hit now, uh, Dupree is gonna like look for the last guy, see where he is, and then I can like revenge frag him. And yeah, you'll see Dupree die, me fucking up by not just smoking <laughs> the bomb and going for it because uh, he was low, but yeah. Yeah, uh, and that is the way it plays. Yeah, so there's the frag on Dupree, and then yeah. obviously now things get a little spicy, get a little weird. I'm sure yeah, the palms are sweaty. So much. Oh, oh, he doesn't oh. even hear you. Doesn't no. even hear you. Then the knife is doing like this. Yeah, crazy. the little <laughs> twirl there. I was like, yes, this guy, he's feeling himself. Yeah. All right, we'll keep it going, all right? Because we've got a CT Give pistol. Us a new one. Let's Give talk us a new about one. CT pistols here, and that's going to be into CT pistol. We're going to load up round number 16 mm -hmm. and take a look at that one, because this is, I think, the, the real glimpse of maybe Ince is you know, going to bring this and put it into a good map, a good game. If we could Fair load enough. that up, that would be spectacular. Here we go. Yeah, it's where he jumps down heaven randomly in the 2 one one and Dupree almost win the one on three or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, we missed the smoke. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. Someone missed the smoke. <laughs> we missed the smoke. It's me. Because I, I have two lineups. Yeah, but we, we tried both things where you smoke off C yeah. or else you can smoke off bomb train. Now, look at it. We die. A lot of people. He's in a 1v3. And then now the guy in heaven, he's going to fuck up um, immensely. Look, he's just jumping down. Uh, yeah, that was Big a blunder. pretty nice. It's kind of YOLO. It's kind of YOLO, but yeah. I think they just called <laughs> that they should go for, them, go for him together. So yeah. I think it was... Good yeah, call. it's true. They play, they play aggressively. And actually, they played really like YOLO on, uh, on yeah. train. Yeah, you know, and I was, as well. I was actually talking to Naf outside, and, and we're, we're going to load up the next round, which is 17. We actually just kind of talk over. I was talking to Naf outside, and he said that these guys, they do have a structure, they do have a game plan, but also they will take fights, and they will, they will kind of put themselves out there, and not be afraid to swing, and it yeah. kind of works out in their favor sometimes. We saw it on Inferno as well, like when they got to the T side, they just rushed mid like three rounds in a row. Yeah, that's true. But you could, re you could really feel it on train. Yeah. Um, because I think they, they did some, they just pop flashed outside with smokes and, and stuff. Oh no, he has the auto shotgun. He, who is he gonna kill? Is it Sib or you? Nah, he's going to kill Sibix. And then we're going to die three guys to this guy in, in Ivy, I think. Oh, you love to see that. The blunderbuss, <laughs> the, auto, the auto one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, round 17, obviously. Full eco. You, you hate to see it. Does it hurt? Does it sting a little bit? We actually just wanted to, to die to like a FAMAS or or M4 or something. That's right. what you're looking for when you have full but they fought, so they don't yeah. get too so much money. So it's the money situation, obviously. It's the money situation, yeah. yeah. They, are, they thought we were going to buy because they bought like SMGs, every one of them. It's pretty weird. Yeah, probably. Well, we do have a couple more rounds here. Don't mind if we do just keep barreling keep through them. Rolling. Let's, keep let's check out round 22. That's where things start to get a little strange. I mean, this was like an inner plant, I believe, from you guys. Uh, and as we take a look at round 22, I obviously love the insight that you guys are able to bring here. This is, you know, kind of a, a very once-in-a-lifetime sort of 
conversation here. <laughs> For sure, once in a lifetime. Uh, <laughs> yeah, once in a lifetime. I mean, as many times you guys win majors, we can always find a couch yeah. or a sofa and just kind of keep this banged sure. out. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look here if my math serves me correct. Walk me through this round, oh, guys. What an amazing smoke here by the way. <laughs> yeah, what is did, this it, did it land is the question. Yeah, I did. Okay. Smoking off electric for sure. Is this... I think... Now he pushes with the pistol inside. That's right. Roma, right? Roma or Vega? Vega. Vega we didn't yeah. do Vega, but we wanted to do it. Oh, we wanted we to were, do it. So we're going to win the round. Lower, yeah. yeah. He's going to kill one guy, headshot one guy. He headshots. No. Yeah. So, in that moment, though, you say you wanted to do a strat. We wanted to do a strat where we fake outside and, and go inside. Okay. Um, then we just go out. And that, that's on, on the fly decision. No, that's what I call in the beginning of the round. Okay. So that's okay. a set tactic we have. Right. And then you see him pushing outside, and he's basically calling for us to go out yeah. because we get no contact. We see one guy. Uh, I think it's in sandwich, and then we just get the round pretty they, easy. They stacked three guys inside, and one guy pushed up lower. So when I got outside, I saw no one, and we saw one in between the trains, and then um, we just went for him. And, um, and this is actually fucking silly <coughs> because now Dupree dies, and then I go die with the op, and it's like oh yeah, domino effect almost. Yeah. Right? yeah, I get one guy get killed, and now they can get the op right for free, and then we're like fighting for that op. Actually, I think we get him in the end, right? Yeah, we get the op, but we they save the op, but we yeah. lose a lot of money. Like we could to like if. Dupree didn't die, or I didn't go in the foreign free, then... But we have we have so much money, so it's actually worth for us just to hunt down the orb. Sort of go for it, right? Yeah, just yeah. hunt down the orb. If we yeah. get down the orb, that's perfect. Huh. Yeah. yeah. That's basically that round. Yeah. Next one. Next one. Thank Roll you, that next, next footage. Let's Thank keep, you, next. Let's keep it going. Thank, Thank you, next. That's what you guys say every major, or is that like how that works? My <laughs> goodness. Back that. to back, of course. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's kind of switch things up now. We got uh, round that's... 24. Is that one you want to yeah. go with? I, I want to see this one because okay. that's where Sib is clutching. Let's check it out. Roll it. One of the rounds where Sib is clutching. One of the rounds, yeah. <laughs> so good. He has been pretty good clutch at, at, at this event as well. Yeah. Well, we're, we're doing uh, the same tactic we did the round before. Now they push team main. We get a lot of kills. We play the, like, the mid round situation kind of well, kind of. What is that tactic? Oh, King yeah, it's King Gwyn, yeah. Yeah. We get the kill on Alu now. And then yeah, we... that was like where you just felt they were so YOLO. Yeah. Like they just pushed teammates without any reason, it He's felt like. He's pushing B and getting killed, right? And then I think Sip flushes out the guy in pub with the molly, and then, then he gets the one on two. And the one on two is the exciting part. He's going part. inside, right? Yeah. He's yeah. gonna Oh you're yeah, gonna look die at Saga. I hate that spot. <laughs> It's just like that. And that he gets spot. this, he drops the smoke, and he peels back, right? And you think, okay, what's going through the team comms at that point? Like, what happens at this moment? Yeah, I was just mad because I knew I was like shoulder peeking it, I was checking it. And a lot of people use that angle, uh, and uh, he still killed me with that CC. Yeah. Sip so, sees them um, pop, he's gonna molly, molly them out, and then I'm gonna peek with the AK. Yeah, you're gonna get a kill. Yeah. yeah that was pretty nice. And then the other guys. And we didn't expect well. one more to be there. Yeah, yeah so he's just kind of turtle in, just yeah. hanging out, yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly. Now we can fast forward a little bit yeah. because Sip is gonna get the after planned and the after. The oh, most he was actually higher. We were talking about where he oh, was. Oh, really? Yeah, we yeah. were talking about where he was. That's to pretty Sipics. weird. Well, uh, see the whole the whole calm there yeah. too. Is yeah. we watched and I, it. I, the I remember. Off. I remember Mac. Is, he said the. I think he went up higher, and I was like, yeah, that's a, probably a good idea because he only, we knew he only had a, a CC, so uh, he need that close range. Hmm. And is he not gonna go when he hears what the bomb plan? No, he's not. <clears throat> what I don't understand is that how He's can Sipix, how did Sipix be on that train, him. like on the what side of the train it? for so long? Yeah, this is okay. How do so they not see him? I, he said this after I asked him after, and he was like, uh, "They know it's Sip. I'm the clutcher. Um, they, 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 are <laughs> they are nervous at this moment." And then he said, "Like I'm gonna just oh, he almost see him. Oh my oh. god, He's saying I'm gonna stand like a." A pretty stupid spot because they're not gonna expect that and okay. honestly it is it's a little bit oh lucky. Did he wow. say that? Did yeah, he, he said that, that oh when we walked God. out after the game. <laughs> oh my God. Unreal. And yeah. to have that that sort of, uh, hey man, guys, watch this, you know, yeah. hold, hold my beer, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, he's so good. <laughs> he's really uh, good at clutching. Yeah, I mean, that seems to be the whole thing for him, like the minister of clutch. Uh, but overall, obviously, there was a, a much more resistant Ents there on train, mm. and I, I guess at this juncture, I kind of want to ask you guys uh, about playing Ents, and like, how do you think it is that they they actually made it here to the finals of the major? Yeah, I think they did a good job. We knew that they were a really good team, and but sometimes it was a bit confusing when you saw like video of them. They didn't look like amazing, but still they looked pretty good. It's just like their individual level is is really strong. I think 
if they get to work a, a bit more together yeah, on the team play. Definitely the composure as well. I mean, like they were behind against Liquid like 15-8 or something, yeah. and they did a comeback against Navi yesterday as well. So uh, I was most sh like shocked over the composure as a team that they could actually like grind it back. And that was also why when we had the 14-1 lead on Inferno, we were kind of mm -hmm. like, it's hard not to get uh, a little bit ahead of yourself, but okay. like when you've seen them doing comebacks, you know that they're actually capable of like being this um, robotic machine that just goes mm -hmm. through comeback and grind it out. Then you mm -hmm. know that you have to keep you, yourself focused. And, and, and yeah, I think that was like one of the main reasons they got this far yeah. uh, an individual play as well. Uh, and just from my time at Cloud9, like I, I witnessed times where, okay, there would be, you know, this big deficit of rounds in between, right? And then you're thinking, okay, eventually that round is going to happen. Yes. And I think that's how those comebacks actually do kind of mount themselves. Yeah, yeah it is. Like you get too um, satisfied with having a big right. lead, and then uh, suddenly the other teams is, is getting uh, momentum, and when they get that momentum, they are just doing the comeback. Yeah, but then you... they will read your place, and you will just be like one step behind all the time. Well, you say momentum. And here's what I want to ask you guys now. You have all the momentum in the world. You guys mm. actually are ahead of the curve, and you consistently have to set the curve, right? Because the whole world's watching you play. The whole yeah. world is kind of designing what they're doing around what you guys are doing. How does that, I, I mean, in terms of preparation, I don't expect you guys to tell me or, you know, the, the world what it is that you guys do in practice. But how, does, how do you do that? Like, how do you stay on top? Uh, First thing first, I want to say that we, I think we use the most time on preparing our, for our opponents. Yeah. We use about like four to five hours just to prepare for a best of three game. Okay. Uh, so that's a lot. I think we are the only team that does that. Mm. Um, so how we are doing it, uh, we are of course not going to tell, but we just decided to tell how much time we actually spend on it um, to people, for people to realize that we actually put in a lot of work. Right. Um, so yeah. Yeah, like, basically that, I feel, as you say, like, one important thing about being at the top of the food chain is that you actually have to keep evolving and um, expect more from your opponents and then also expect more from yourself, right? Mm. Um, the things we're doing now, we have like a whole backing of an organization that are like looking into the physical aspects, into the sleeping part, like into all like parts of the game, give us a percentage here or there. We had a physicist, what is it called, I guess? Like a psychologist? No, not like... Um, Physiologist? Massa massage. And oh, like, like a masseuse. Yeah, and everything <laughs> flew down here and had okay. like a few days of that and huh. um, like treatment in that way as well. So we have a lot of stuff going on, on for us that really helps us just focus on the game and it allows us as slaves to like prepare for five hours a day when we have to get ready for games. Well, I, I know uh, OJ had talked to Dupree on the stage, and I'm going to kind of give you guys the, the same sort of stage, obviously. Uh, it's, it's just you two that have joined me, and that's completely fine. Is there anything that you would like to say outward, uh, I guess, one at a time, towards the, the audience, the Danes well, back sorry. home, the fans? Can I can start. Go for it, man. <laughs> Astralis, boring team. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, want, let me comment on that really okay. quick. Like, Astralis <laughs> is not a boring team. We just like to go into every single detail and do the best we can to be as well prepared as possible, play slow and methodical, uh, because we think that's the way to go. And, they, and it is, and we're showing it uh, time and time again. So let's not, uh, of course people can call us boring because uh, uh, we are winning a lot, but maybe the other teams just need to step up their game a bit more and then we'll have some more fun games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, simply yeah, put. Yeah, sure. You got anything other to close that, that yeah, with? Yeah, um, like, down here, it's been amazing, even though we haven't been the crowd favorite. Um, mm -hmm. Like, we live for the, these arenas, and and even though, like, people are cheering for the other teams and cheering for the underdog, like, being a part of this, like, journey is just, like, a dream coming true every, every time we're in the arena. And I just want to thank everyone, especially the Danish fans as well, that travel around the world with us and our friends and families that make it possible for us. Yep. Shout out to everyone yeah. at O'Leary's. You heard it here first, right? Everyone yeah. watching the games at O'Leary's. That does it for the Intel Extreme Masters Katowice Major 2019. It has been my honor to sit here and share a sofa with these gentlemen. And, of course, congratulations to the Astralis organization and everyone involved behind the machine. That is that. Of course, we do need to close this show out. I have to cut it off here. And, thank you. well, everything considered, <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> thank and you. thank you all at home. Good night and das Vidanya. Good night. Good night.